This is the video for the resident group on how to access private pages for mail and other functions. So again, with the, with the resident group, they don't need to have an email address. Um, it's very simple. If you'll notice on the screen, you see the people who have mail, and it'll come rolling back again. But here's how this works. Each one of your residents in the resident group is given a code to access what we call their private pages. It says right here, private pages is where you access your mail, calendar, and more. If you don't have a password for your private pages, please ask your community staff member for one. So with, during the implementation phase, when the, red, when the residents are getting put into the system, we assign them a a password for their private pages. Usually that password is their first initial, last name, all lowercase. And then for example, if you've got um, somebody working on the system or if the computer is open and somebody's walking by the system, every other, every two cycles in the flash box, if somebody has mail, it'll show who in the community has mail. And we'll see if we can't wait here for a second for this to happen so you can see what I'm talking about. Just one more second. And right here, you have mail. So these are the residents that in the community, uh, the resident group that have mail. So let's say John Smith wants to check his mail. John's code, for the sake of argument, is 100. I know I, it was the first initial last name, but for this demo, we're using 100. So John would come sit down at the computer. He would put in his password, where it says enter password, and then he would select enter. Now you'll notice that this is John's private area. These are his private pages. It says, welcome to your private pages. And then it says, welcome, John. So this is how residents in the resident group access their private pages.